Okay. Now the next problem is limit extending to 2. 3x square minus x minus 10 divided by x square minus 4. Limit extending to 2. 3x square minus x minus 10 divided by x square minus 4. The first step of doing any problem on limit is to substitute the limit directly. If it gives 0 by 0 form, then you should think of using the formula. Otherwise, you can go ahead with direct substitution. If you get 0 by 0 form, there are many methods available to evaluate the limit. The first is, you need to factorize the given problem so that you can cancel some of the common factors in the numerator and denominator. In that case, indeterminate form will go. Or otherwise, if the problem consists of irrational quantities, you have to proceed by rationalization method. We will take up problems of that type also. Or otherwise, you make some substitution and try to bring the given limit to the standard form like we did in the previous problem. Or otherwise, make, some, make use of some trigonometric formulas. So, I will try to cover all types of problems because all types of problems have been given in the question back. Okay, now let me check by directly substituting, by direct substitution, by direct substitution, this I put in case of x2, 3 to 2 square minus 2 minus 10 divided by 4 minus 4. So the denominator is already 0. And even if you check the numerator, 2 square, that is 4 into 3, 12 minus 2 is 10, 10 minus 10. So direct substitution gives 0 by 0 form. So what is the next thing that you, next step you think about? Factorization. 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 3x square minus x minus 10. Now try to get the factors. 3x square minus 6x plus 5x minus 10. This is 3x square minus 6x plus 5x minus 10 divided by x minus 2 into x plus 2. Limit extending. So the next step we have factorized. Minus 6x plus 5x gives minus x. Minus 6 equal plus 5 gives minus 10 into 3. Third. This is limit extending to 2. From the first two terms, what is common? 3x. 3x is common, so we have x minus 2. Plus 5 into x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 into x plus 2. This is limit extending to 2. x minus 2 into 3x plus 5 are the factors in the numerator and x minus 2 by x plus 2. Now you should now notice one thing here. You can cancel this x minus 2 and x minus 2. This x minus 2 is the factor which is bringing 0 by 0 form. <coughs> because if you put x2, see here 2 minus 2, 0. And again, 0. So 0 by 0 form is now vanishing at this stage. Since there is no 0 by 0 form from now onwards, we are eligible to apply the limit. Next step is applying the limit. Applying the limit as x tends to 2. I told you once you start applying the limit, you have to stop writing the limit sign. So this is 3 to 2 plus 5 divided by 2 plus 2. That is 3 to 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11 divided by 4. The limit is 11 by 4. Okay. Next problem. <coughs> Limit, limit extending to 2, 
x to the power of 4 minus 81 divided by 2x squared minus 5x minus 2. Now let us check the limits directly. That is the first step of beginning step. 2 to the power of 4. Yeah. And what is the denominator also? This is extending to 3, not 2. Now you see 3 to the power of 4 is how much? 81. Make it extending to 3, not extending to 2. 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is 81 minus 81 is 0. Denominator is also 0. You can check that. So it is 0 by 0 form. Right now it is 0 by 0. So I just write that. Indicating that by direct substitution we come to know that the given limit is in 0 by 0 form. Okay. This is again a case of factorization. So let's factorize. This is equal to limit extending to 3. X to the power of 4 minus 81 can be factorized as x squared plus 9 into x squared minus 9 divided by 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 gives the factor as 2x squared minus 6x plus x 2x squared minus 6x plus x minus 3. This is the factor in the denominator. This is limit extending to 3. x squared plus 9 into can I factorize this further? x squared minus 9 as x plus 3 into x minus 3 divided by in the denominator from the first two terms if I take 2 x common I get x minus 3 plus 1 into x minus 3 or this is equal to limit extending to 3 x squared plus 9 into x plus 3 into x minus 3 divided by 2x minus uh, 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 into x minus 3 now what do you notice now this x minus 3 x minus 3 is the factor that is inducing 0 by 0 form because as x tends to 3 3 minus 3 becomes 0 we have also 3 minus 3 is now you are eligible to substitute the limit of the, apply the limit applying the limit Applying the limit as x tends to 3. Wherever you have x now, put it equal to 3. So this is now 3 squared. It is 9 plus 9, 3 plus 3, it is 6. Divided by 2 into 3, 6 plus 1. 7, 18 into 6. 18, 6 up. 162. Huh? 162. 108. 108 by 7. Okay. 